Hi, today we'll be showing you my voltage multiplier, also known as Cockroft's voltage multiplier, also known as Cascade Generator. It can produce up to 150,000 volts, which is very high. Also, you can say 150 kV if you want. So, firstly, let's see how I'm powering it, and then we'll see some sparks and corona. So, the voltage from the mains goes into the variac, then through the variac to the microwave own transformer which I've modified so it produces low voltage and high current then it goes to full bridge rectifier then to some capacitor bank to filter the voltage then it goes to ZVS driver and ZVS driver basically converts DC into high frequency AC the high frequency AC goes to primary of uh, this flyback transformer the secondary of the flyback transformer has approximately 1200 turns, so it uh, gives out high voltage AC, high frequency. And then this high voltage, high frequency AC goes into my voltage multiplier. It produces very high voltage DC from this AC. Also there's my grounding wire, it's connected to the actual ground and the ground of voltage multiplier. So 150 kV would be exactly above 0 volts. 0 volts is Earth. So we don't get some nasty sparks flying everywhere. Also, I have second microwave oven transformer. I can turn it on if I don't have enough voltage on the first. So then, let's see some sparks. But first, let's talk a little bit more about my voltage multiplier. It consists of 10 stages and each stage consists of two diodes and two capacitors. Capacitors are like this, small blue ceramic capacitors, uh, 15 kV, 1000 picofarads. And the diodes are very good diodes, like this, 2Cl2FM, that's 20 kV, uh, 100 milliamp average current. So yeah. If uh, there are 10 stages, each capacitor is 15 kV, the maximum output voltage is 150 kV. So there's ground of the voltage multiplier, there's AC input, there's high voltage output, this is high voltage cable from China, uh, and I've put it into paraffin wax from IKEA candles. <laughs> Very good insulator. Also there's some PVC pipe. This all insulation is to reduce the size of voltage multiplier and to reduce corona losses. So now finally, let's see some sparks. So here is my setup. Positive needle and grounded plane. So this is a needle plane air gap. This is actually the easiest air gap to break down by high voltage. Also I have black piece of cardboard in the back. So you could see corona and sparks better. We'll start with uh, small air gaps, 10 centimeters, like here, and uh, we'll gradually go higher, up to 30 centimeters. These are some huge sparks. So I'll now turn on the voltage. You can hear some corona. So here's some corona. And there are some sparks. Yeah, something like that. Also, this needle is very sharp, so you could see that Corona is uh, actually looks like a little stream. It's very thin because of that. Also, because of that, the sparks look uh, really straight. So now let's see 20 centimeter breakdown. Yeah, now I've set the electrode distance to 20 centimeters, and let's turn the voltage on again and see what happens. I'm raising the voltage, you can hear some corona again, you can see the corona uh, near the needle. So it now starts to extend to the whole gap. We're near the breakdown. So yeah, here's the breakdown. Hmm. Yeah. 
something like that. Okay, I've actually just watched the footage from the previous run and uh, I've noticed that uh, some sparks look like they're on half of the spark gap or this half of the spark gap. This actually happens uh, from the rolling shutter effect because the sparks last so short in time, like several microseconds. Uh, the camera captures only like half of them on this frame and another half of them on this frame. But nevertheless, I've set the electric distance to 30 centimeters. These are like some huge sparks. Like here's my hand, so you can see it's really big spark gap. And so let's hope my camera doesn't die from the statics and turn on the voltage and <laughs> see what happens. I also will turn on the second microwave oven transformer because I need a little bit of voltage on the primary side. Yeah. <laughs> so you can see now it starts really scary. <laughs> I'm raising the voltage. Very close to a breakdown. Oh, nice. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so this will be the last run because uh, Corona produces a lot of ozone and ozone is really poisonous. Uh, I've now turned off the lights in my room so you could see the Corona and sparks better. This is uh, the same 30 centim centimeter spark gap. Now I will turn on the voltage and let's create some sparks. Yeah, a little bit of Corona. I'm raising the voltage. These thousands of volts really look scary. And there are some phantom discharges on my voltage multiplier. Okay. The corona extends the whole air gap. Oh, nice! Okay, that's enough of that. So, what you see now is called a streamer Corona. A positive streamer Corona. Positive streamer DC Corona. Because it consists of thousands of faint small streamers. These are like these branches that extend from that electrode. And you've seen some spark discharges. So, if you liked the video, feel free to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe for more future updates. Bye!